Now we will change batch size and look how this will impact communication between MongoDB client and MongoDB server. First, let's just start with execution of the find command. So just db.cursor. Remember that cursor is our collection with 100 documents inside. Find and empty parentheses. So just find all documents in the cursor. Enter. And as you see, we get 20 documents. What happened here? We have invoked find method. Server has returned us cursor and we have iterated this cursor. Size of iteration is 20 documents. It's not a batch size. Let's examine what happened behind the scenes. So how many documents were sent from MongoDB server to MongoDB client? For this purpose, I will use another application called Wireshark and I will examine all communication between my computer and MongoDB server. If you want to perform same, you will need to use IP address filter and enter here IP address of your server. Ok, let's start capturing. Just press this button, continue without saving and I will perform same find operation again. Just press enter. Let's go back to Wireshark and stop capture. Here I need to find TCP segments with largest size. And here they are. I will need just right mouse button click and follow TCP stream. And here is the result of capture of the whole TCP stream communication between my client and server. This output may look ugly and unreadable, but it gives us an insight of what happens between MongoDB client and server. At the top highlighted with the red color, you see request from MongoDB client. So find request. Here in blue, you see response from the server. Remember from previous lesson that batch size is 101 documents. In our collection, we have 100 documents. And all those documents were sent to the client just in one batch. Ok, let's close this and go back to MongoDB shell. Clear terminal and let's change batch size. This can be changed using batch size helper method of the find method. So just type same command then dot batch size and in parentheses new batch size. Let's change it to 30 documents. By default it is 101. And let's perform this operation. But before doing this I need to restart my capture. So just click restart, continue without saving and just press enter. And let's type IT IT several times until cursor will be exhausted. So now it is exhausted. Go back to Wireshark and stop capture. I will go back to previous filter here. Now in this capture you see maximal TCP segment size 1266. It is less than was in previous case. And you see several such kind of segments. Again, right click on any of them. Follow TCP stream. And let's examine TCP stream now. Now you see several requests from the client. So first request, then response with 30 documents. Then second request, get more. Response again with 30 documents. You see numbers here, 22, 25, 28, 29. So again, it's an index number of the document inside each batch. Here is the third request, third response, and here is the last request and last response. Last response is small because it's just 10 documents. So we have 100 documents in the collection. 30 we get in the first batch, then next 30 in the second batch, next 30 in the third batch, and documents from 90 to 100 we get in the last batch. Now you see the difference 
between default batch size 101 documents that returned us all our 100 documents just in one batch and custom batch size, in our case it is 30 documents. For 30 documents we made 4 requests to the server and received documents in 4 different batches. Let's go back to MongoDB shell and see if iterator size was changed. So go back CLS and let's perform same operation with the batch size 30. Enter and you see that iterator size remained 20 documents. Please be careful while changing batch size. Never make it too small and increase it only in those cases when you want to improve MongoDB overall performance. Note that batch size only impacts number of requests from the client to server. Now I hope that it's clear what happens under the hood during invocation of find method. Next we will discuss a couple of other useful helper methods of the cursor. See you.